Welcome back to Video Pro Vlogger channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to use the auxiliary line in Video Pro Vlogger. Without further ado, now let's get the video started. I'm sure when you watch videos, you might find some videos look pretty advanced and have a comfort feeling driven by the image, while some videos would be cluttered and unappealing. The most direct reason behind this is the different compositions. Usually, the photographer will handle the composition when shooting a project, but if you run into mistakes or come up with other composition ideas along the shooting process, then it is important to readjust the composition in editing. If you want to learn more about that, click on the video link in the upper right corner to watch your videos. Okay, back to our point. When we work on the composition in editing, the auxiliary line would be an indispensable tool. With VideoPro Vlogger, you can easily access the auxiliary line and apply it to your project building. Before we get into today's tutorial, make sure free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. Launch your software. Create a new project. Add a source video to the media library. Drag the video to the video track. Then go to the preview window. Find the show runners on the far left. Click on it to activate the runner. The pixel size of specific height and width will be displayed along the left and the top of the canvas. Here you can find three round bottoms with three different colors. This might help you to tell which auxiliary line you are working with. Alongside that, we have three different ways to add auxiliary lines. For example, I want to add a crisscross guide in a cyan color. Click on the small round bottom in the corresponding color. Then, click on the Add Crease Cross Guide icon. Move your mouse to the point where you wish to add in the canvas. Click on it, and you are done. Then, try to draw the horizontal guide and the vertical guide with the blue and the purple respectively. Here you have three different types of auxiliary lines. In addition, if you want to find a center point of screen quickly, click on the Add Crisscross Guide icon. Move the mouse towards the middle of the canvas. Then you can notice that the software automatically absorbs the line to the center. Well, of course, you can also do the same with the horizontal guide and a vertical guide. Isn't that convenient? Once you have drawn the auxiliary lines, you can also change its position with mouse. And to prevent misuse after your edits, just click the lock icon here to lock all the auxiliary lines on the canvas. And if you want to hide all the reference lines to have a clean preview of the screen image, just click on the hide icon here. At last, if you want to delete a single reference line after using it, you can just select it with the mouse, hold it down and move it out of the image. And if you want to delete all the reference lines, don't do that one by one. Instead, find a clear icon, click on it, and all the reference lines on the canvas could be removed. All right, that's it all for the auxiliary line tools. If you still want to learn more about composition, please leave a message in the comment section down below, and we will roll out more tutorials on that. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our next video. Bye-bye!